Hello students! Welcome to our Theater Stick Puppet Show. Today's story is about Jose Garcia Villa's The Emperor's New Clothes. Shall we begin? I hope you enjoy this show. There was once a king who only cared about his clothes. He does not care for the public relations or matters. Then one day, in the castle, there came two robbers trying to get their opportunity to rob the king. Oh, the king has so many clothes. This is too much for one person. We must get whatever we can. It's time for a quick outfit change. Oh, the king! Who art thou? Oh, right now we are carrying clothes because we are the best weavers in town, in fact. Hmm, that is interesting. Yes, indeed. In fact, we can make you the best clothes in town that only wise people can see. Then I must have these clothes indeed. King? They were obviously robbers. No, I must have the best clothes in town. Then so the robbers took the opportunity to swindle the king once more. On the next day, the king was given his new clothes. All his friends came to town to see the best clothes the king was talking about. Foolishly. And then, the swindlers gave the king his clothes that only the wisest people can see. Don't I look amazing? Yes, indeed, sire. Do you want the new crown with that blue outfit? No, this will do. I look so amazing, so I must wear this new grand clothes tomorrow at the parade. Only the wise can see. So I may know who is the wise in this town. I may test everyone's characters. Therefore, the king was so excited to go to the parade with the best clothes. And the swindlers were seeing what will happen. So, the day comes with the town parade. Everyone was there to greet the king himself. The march bands were playing and everyone was expecting the king to have the best clothes in town. And then the king arrived. Oh no! The king is naked! That is very... That came the very controversial day for the king. No, only the wisest people can see my clothes. And then the, all the people started laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness, the king is naked! He deserves no respect at all. And so, that was the day that the king learned his true fate. That codes do not define his character, or anyone's character in fact. He learned that true character is made of actions, not luxury or codes. The end. So that was the end of the story. I hope you all enjoyed it.